What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So earlier today I just came back from watching Ryan Johnson's latest movie, Knives Out, and I went into this movie with high expectations, but I've got a few things to say about it. The reason I wanted to watch this movie in cinemas was because, yes, Ryan Johnson did direct The Last Jedi and I'm not a big fan of that movie specifically. Even though I love it as a Star Wars movie, I have problems with it. But I thought, you know, Ryan Johnson made Looper, which I enjoyed. I'm sure this is going to be a good movie because I enjoy the whole who's done it premise. I was really excited for Murder on the Orient Express, the remake, and I was excited for this. But this movie was just so infuriating with how it was done because it treats itself like it's so smart and it has all these big actors and a huge cast and that really excited me but then they all felt so underutilized the girl from 13 reasons why Catherine Langford whatever I can't remember her name I really don't like her as an actress I think she's all right and I just found found her really irritating in this movie maybe because she wasn't given much to do so she was kind of bland just like the young boy I've seen the boy actor before he was pretty bad in this movie because he did nothing um, a lot of the characters just didn't really do anything um, and I am going to be talking about spoilers from here on out so you know I don't like the movie now get ready for reasons why I don't like it Chris Evans character he's gone for most of the movie first half at least he's barely in it and then he comes in the second half and we later find out that he is the one who tried to kill the father or grandfather whatever of the family but he didn't succeed because the nurse or whatever who we thought uh, killed him and stuff um, didn't actually do it because of the um, she manually like instinctively knew which um, drug or whatever to give him and whatnot. So she never even given him the wrong drug. But the fact that he wasn't there for the first half of the movie just made me not care about him. So when he came and it was really nice and everything, I just didn't really care. I was like, oh yeah, it's Chris Evans, that's cool and stuff. I liked him because it's Chris Evans, not because of the character. And in the end, he ended up killing the maid or whatever, um, and then he ends up trying to kill the um, medical staff or whatever, Maria, I can't remember her name. What is it? I can't remember her name. I just saw the movie like two hours ago. But he tries killing her, and I'm like, why would you try to kill her? You would then just be convicted of a double murder instead of just a murder and I don't get it at all. The way it was done, the, the shots and stuff, it looked so cool and everything. And I feel like that was the only reason it was done. Or maybe it was there just to give some action to the film in that sense. Because the film is very much slow and people talking and talking and talking. The opening act, while it's very entertaining, um, and I don't mean the reveal of the death, I mean the fact that the way that the children, um, Walt, and whatever else there, I can't remember the names, um, were interviewed, that was entertaining. So everything else that was going on with the movie was fine. It was entertaining. It felt like it went on for way too long because I'd say roughly midway through the movie, we actually found out that the murder wasn't actually a murder and that the grandfather guy ended up killing himself. So that was, you know, oh, oh okay, he ended up killing himself. So no one actually did the murder. But then later on, we find out Chris Evans' character actually tried to commit a murder, but then he didn't actually commit the murder which the whole movie is based on. So then why was the movie even made? Because the murder never actually happened. So me guessing who the murder is and finding out no one killed him, it was a suicide, just feels like a real kick in the guts because it's like, I'm watching this movie, I'm coming up with all, the, all these ideas, oh, this person has some motive, this person has some motive. But even with those motives, I don't think that it'd be a murder. I never thought that any of those um, actual people would kill um, the grandfather. Even like at the start, you have Meg, they say mention Meg wakes up to the um, dogs barking. I was like, okay, so the dogs bark, but they don't bark to the medical staff. They obviously bark to someone else. Then when you see that Chris Evans' character gets barked at, I'm like, okay, yeah, they bark to him. I have a suspicion. I have a, I'm suspicious of him and whatnot. And there's just so many minor things that really just annoyed me with this movie because I really wanted this movie to be blow me away, be so amazing and really interesting and make me go, wow, okay, that was the murderer. I had my suspicions, but you know, I really cared for that character and they, they threw me off here and there because like Murder on the Orient Express, which I brought up earlier, they just copped out and made all the characters murderers. And in this one, they make none of them the murderer 
even though like I know people are gonna say, oh, but Chris Evans' character was actually the murderer, but he never committed the murder. He had this complex plan to, but he never actually did it. So I don't feel any satisfaction in the fact that, oh, I was watching this movie, which was building up to this person being murdered, but it wasn't. And subverting my expectations is good. Ryan Johnson seems to have a huge, you know, interest in that doing that, but it wasn't earned in this movie. Now there are probably a lot of things I've missed in this movie, in this review itself. I just probably just, I need a second just to think about it. When I watch the movie a second time, if I ever do, I'll probably think of quite a few more. But there will also be going to be a few good mo moments which I do enjoy. The whole um, girl vomiting and whatnot whenever she tells a lie, I thought was a cool addition and then it throws you off a little in the way that the old man, the murdered murdered suspect, murdered person, what, what did I say suspects for? The way he went about planning out how she would get out and um, everything, you could kind of guess that he already was going to give the will to her and whatnot because of how much he was trying to protect her and everything, but it was really interesting. I really enjoyed that part. A lot of how everything happened was really cool, but I just, like I just said, there's all these minor moments which hold back the film and really irritate me, especially because there's a really good cast um, and I just had really high expectations going into this film because I was thinking, you know, his previous work might not have always been the best, Ryan Johnson's that is, but this one, the trailers have got me interested, the cast have got me interested, the idea itself has me interested, the execution is just not there. So despite all the high critic reviews and a lot of people, one of my people from work, one of them, said that they would watch it a second time, even buy it on DVD, that's how good it was. Going into the movie, I had all these expectations. They weren't met and the movie was fairly subpar. So I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10, really because it has some good moments and a few bad ones there. But I think overall, you can enjoy the movie despite its length and problems. So thank you for watching this review. If you've liked it, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below on what you thought of Knives Out. If you haven't seen it yet, let me know if you are excited for the movie, if you are going to watch it, if not, why? Other than that, I'll see you all next time. See us.